Monkey King was introduced and buffed, he actually got into the top, I don't know, five ranks with him. I think he was top one as well. I'm not taking away anything from... Uh, you see, <laughs> level 15, Golden Monkey King, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you see that, like you're like, alright, this guy plays that hero a lot. And he's a really good Monkey King, even though this hero got nerfed many times, I think he's still... Like, you can still play him. Well, we're moving out already. There's gonna be a smoke coming out. Let's see if Topson Monkey King is as threatening as you seem to recall. Like, you sound like you were scarred by this experience. I was scarred, definitely. But <laughs> on the other hand, I was scarred by this brood mother as well. So, you know, uh, ah, they're gonna do the good old PL Lich mid? Or are they? Is that happening? I mean, Brood is running tops. It, it might be one of those classics. She runs top, casts a web, moves away to another side. Just, like a Jabate web, you know? But there's no one to fall for that, because no one is on top lane. We'll see how they lane. How they decide to... to yeah, no tail is kinda... He wants to scout it. He's going super deep in. If you can actually find it. It'd be quite obvious. And I feel like Exotic Day can really contend this rune ape either. Like, they are filling on the bot lane. And GRX mm. has learned that quickly. Yeah, the, the last time they did the same thing, right? They had the tri lane with the, with the Pango. They really did everything they could to enable him. Uh, Brood is top lane, 100%. He just used two webs. Yeah, that's gonna be... And he didn't get the rune either. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's such chick. Both teams tipping no tail there. Good job. You got that rune, buddy. You did good. I go get the other rune. I mean, yeah, Patas took two runes on bottom lane, so it's it's evened out. It doesn't matter. What matters for OG is that they are, they are laning this monkey versus the brute. Uh, on the mid That's lane, true. we have the good old dual lanes, man. Back to oh, 2017. Oh, not these again, please. Can yeah, we not? It's, it's uh, tri lane. There you go. It's tri lane in the mid lane. Let's go. Nix, what are you waiting for, dude? <laughs> no. Get across there, get involved! Fight. Never mind. Oh, 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 no, 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 we spoke too soon. Warlock's coming down. Yeah. Jerex is so low on mid, no. Yeah, he is, uh, he starts with the devil here. But so is El Lazar now, so even up. El Lissash. El Lissash. It's, it's, a, the, it's a, yeah. a fox, I think, I Polish. skipped. I don't know why I said El Liza. It's like El Lizard is very clear. I think El Lizard. El Lizard. El Lizard is a nice name, okay? El Lizash. There we go. Yeah, they have the fox. I think El Lizash is fox, and they have the exotic deer. They have a deer. They have a fox. I don't know if Nisha. Nisha is probably. I don't know. Maybe that's something as well. What about Patos and and Kako? Like, uh, I, maybe I they are all cool. just secretly animals, and then one of them ruined it. But. Uh, Jarex denies himself at the creeps in the meantime. Understandable. Yeah. It was just taking way too long to go back and heal up. This way it's, it's, it's kind of quicker, yeah. Because you would have needed uh, mana regen as well. Yep, definitely. I feel like this is something I actually haven't talked about, is the fact that Anna at the start is going to have a really big problem with Nisha and his Spirit Lancers, because you can't sustain that Flame Guard. It's not going to be easy for him. But Anna, he's been... Like, he's always been one of those players that doesn't necessarily do way too well on the lane, right, in the laning stage on mid, but later on he recovers fairly well, and he does a lot. So we'll see how it goes this time. So, you're talking about the nightmare that is Topson on a Monkey King, and he's proven already topping the CS. With mm -hmm. a decent, a very good lead, in fact, over Exotic Deer. Yeah, 16-5 to five versus 6-2, to it's, it's so good right now. And the Brood is level 3, she shouldn't be suffering this hard. Perhaps some of those last hits were on the spider rights as well? Quite possibly. I feel, I feel like both... Like, who has to abandon this mid lane scenario first? I feel like OG are on the clock, right? Because you've got a Lich, so you should be able to sustain them in terms of XP advantage. Yeah, uh, there, there's a slight advantage to having a Lich tool lane always, because he, he, it's not only the XP, it's the mana, right? You always can sustain yourself by just eating the creeps, and you kind of want to be there. Well, with Skyrat, it, it doesn't have to be the same. However, they're going on Nisha, never mind. No, nah, they need level 3. They've got no Seer and Change yet. I, I think it's not about this lane in particular. You, you, we can't be watching it like that. It's like, top. It's the, it's the top is the lane that's looking to yeah. decide this for both teams, I think. 
exactly it, it, it's both of these side lanes the top lane in particular as you said because monkey king is so far ahead that someone is going to have to rotate and, and deal with him however uh, do they have the heroes to do that they have a nyx and they have a lich so not really and meanwhile jarax ah yeah, just denying himself again. Yeah, no. To the tower this to time. The tower. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen this done a couple of times. Basically, what uh, the idea behind d denying yourself to the tower is, yeah, you're gonna give them 100 gold, whatever, but you're gonna respawn instantly. You don't have those 20 seconds that, that of, of downtime that you have to wait. So, as long as you're not giving anyone experience, it's kind of worth it, I suppose. I don't think I've seen Jarek deny himself this many times since he played Techies at uh, uh, Epicenter, but, you know, He's trying to set a stand over here. We're going to have to chip back on this lane and Jarrett's here as well. If you see him low on HP, not going back to the fountain to heal up. He's just going to suicide. Yeah, I which remember. Is fair. Yeah. There, there, there was the time when everyone was denying, though. If you remember when there was no downtime, no added 20 yeah. seconds. Yeah. And Tish. Bottom lane. Bottom lane. A little bit of trouble for No Tail. Gets okay. caught out here. Slowed down as well as the Pearson Hustle. Or, uh, Neutral creep. And yeah, he got what? the neutral deny. Like what the Like what? One little peck, that's all it and takes. The same while time? we're talking in the mid lane, finally the first blood comes. Jerk's a little bit trolling now. Anna trying to move away. Nietzsche will stand his fight. Double gang comes out, they'll get a double kill on the Elder's Ash. I think we were just so obsessed with that deny bot by Nose Hell, which shouldn't yep. have happened. It, it definitely shouldn't have, but they get they get this even better prize. They get to dual kill uh, double kill on mid, so well, big surprise coming out there, and uh, finally the first blood did occur after a few deaths in different Oops. locations. He's actually not taking Dying any damage from these spider rights. It's basically it's... being tickled. Like he has eight armor and the stout shield, but oh yeah, the double stout. No, I've seen this before. It's actually ridiculous against the spider army. Like I said they do no damage. And I'm being chased onto here, impelled dodge now by Slight Fist. Beautifully done. That should end the gank attempt. Jarx will move away as well. But the, the thing here I, though is Pangle cannot lane versus this Lycan. I, I really don't think so. And when you get the Snix on the mid lane. Oh, jump in. Jarax gets caught. There we they go. They didn't leave. Not without a kill. And it's, it's just all aggression focused on this mid lane. I understand why. Right, the Monkey King is annoying to shut down. The Lycan not really worth the effort. It's the Ember that is once again going to be the tempo. Um, Seda in the mid game for OG. <laughs> it's your casual good old dry lane mid. Dry lane yeah, and dual lane mid, yeah. What, you don't see this? This is so regular in the UK. Scene. Yeah, it's super regular. Uh, needs to just find a DD. Yeah, no no chance of a concussive shot on him. Meanwhile, top. Exotic Deer's in trouble here. Take a lot of damage. Topson. He could go for this, but Exotic Deer nah. does move too quick. On the mid lane, we have a it, it, trio try, key. No, try and try. Yeah. No tails thinking about sneaking in here. Oh, Radiant that's a shot coming out. Jerax already been slow though. Dodges out the impale. They will chase under the town. He should get it with that DD still running. And no tail TP's in for nothing. He's like, hi, uh, I don't want to die too. I'll just back up. Yep. The, the only upside of this is that OG side lanes are winning. Right? You have the Lycan, he's gonna win solo on bottom versus the Pango. And you have on top lane this Monkey King that's level 7 and completely free farming versus the brutes so even if you kind of die on mid a few times and king win is like in lead five kills in lead it doesn't really matter too much because the silence are winning for them i mean yeah brute has a lot of cs but she's 44 versus monkeys 86. every time she gives the monkey enough stacks he just uses his bond of strike and he kills off all the spider rats i'm not certain it's physical so i think he kills them even without the stacks I'm pretty sure he does, because they got the match resistance pretty high. Meanwhile, Seb in the bot lane? Let's stand his ground. One Shadow Earth, that's it. Uh, cancel the gang, boys, we're done. Yep, he has 15. 15.2 15 region. Heals is pretty Earth. good. Yeah. Meanwhile, chase on the, from Exotic there. Actually finds the kill on the Jerax here. He's invaded OG's jungle. That, that was a pretty nice kill. Meanwhile, mid, mid lane, Tyrion Chains coming out. Anna, a little bit of trouble. Dodges out the... Spirit Lance with the Slight Fist. Nicely done. And now the Doppelganger dodge by Nisha to move away from Jarax. And it's still getting pretty low, though. He needs to be careful. They should have another Spirit Lance up in a moment. Especially if they keep spamming our spells. Yeah. Jeez, Nisha in trouble here. Searing Chains comes out. They'll move forward. Nisha. 
Gonna get super low. Can they tick him down? They need one more hit. He'll burn out Anna. Hit on two with the impale, but Cackle taking a lot of damage. They ping on Doom. They'll go for more. Anna has full mana to work with. He wants to go in for this. They will lose Jerax, but Anna just turns around and looks to Ellen Sash instead. Deer and Chains will connect. Sly Fist to ensure the kill. And has a remnant, so he should just be going back to base and then return. Wolf. Actually, Cackle, the wolf's coming in. Like and seal of the deal there. <laughs> just a casual to a wolves and centaur coming from behind. Just a casual reminder that there's a Lycan in this game. Yeah, and, and he's using Wolf's limit. They're going in. Moon on Nisha. He needs to be careful. The army returns, and now Nisha in full retreat. Or oh, is he going to stand a fight? He's trying to bait them away. Find time for the TPs. Will they be quick enough? Pangali trying to come Pango. across, take a little while. Pagos will finally arrive. The stun is good. Anna is dead. And that shape shift will achieve nothing as a result of it. Yeah, that was really deep by Seb. I mean, it's a good plan, but Nisha is such a player. He jokes them so well with the illusions. And... Yeah, they, they, they spent no way too long. Like, yep. I don't think they could see... I think they saw one of the TPs. They didn't see the second TP. And of course, you probably wouldn't expect Pangalea coming from mm, like we... a third of the map away. We and speaking of Pangalea... Alright. Second. Daddy? Daddy, please. Uh, yep, they're telling a little bit of trouble. Chasing on tower. Patos, he just wants this, he'll find it. And while that happens in the mid lane, they'll find a kill in Nisha. And the Chain Frost will hurt Anna, but won't kill him. Denied. Pretty much Top. hit everything but him. Yeah, Topson is connecting here as well. He's going to jump on this leash. Oh, right across the space. He dodges it. Oh. It won't be enough. The balance strike hits, and with that, he dies. <laughs> Feels so good to kill a leech, actually. Such a nasty <laughs> hero. Like, if you got this regressed, built-up anger from experiences with Lich players, like, they ruined my lanes! No, uh, my, my, my problem is I, I was the Lich player. I, I, it, like, one of the metas, uh, when I was playing competitive, in one of the metas, Lich was a top pick. Oh, I right. had to play it all the time, so I just love seeing oh. Lich players suffer from now on. I just hate like, that hero like so much. Like, you should have, basically. Ah, definitely. So, uh, we just saw something interesting top, which was the slight fist out on all the spiders. Didn't really do much, but if Anna can get his hands on some sort of AoE item, he's actually choosing to go for the Battle Furious game, by the way, then Battle it's Fury, a totally right? different. I mean, in fairness, uh, there's a Battle Furious from anymore, I, I guess. I, I, I guess it's all right versus uh, PL as well, right? Versus yeah. all the illusions. Like, there's two targets, so I kind of understand why he's doing it. Yeah, but the other build is w fine, too. Right? The, uh, yeah, the, the Maelstrom's decent. Maelstrom. I, I think his concern here is that uh, match resistance on the spiders. Oh yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. Well, I want to push on mid this time, and I don't think they're going to take no for an answer. King will just back up and let them have it. It's hard though, right? It's hard for King to fight at the moment. Because they did lose two side lanes. Like, mid kind of went evenish, But the uh -oh. side lanes were decisively lost for them, so... I'm not being funny, but fighting the moment of problems could get worse as it goes on. The net worth is building it, and OG, they're going for more Nisha. He gets stunned up, no, because of his own illusions. The Chain Frost's going to come in, but it shouldn't bounce too much. Goes across the top ten. He gets away on Nisha. And now they're fighting up with a Chain Frost here. Kaggle going to try and move away. The wrong fight approved. Pathos will not be able to hit the mark. Anna chasing d but he needs to be careful. Through last on him. Thompson will get the kill, but give his life in return. Anna needs the to go on full here. retreat here. No tail trying to create a little bit of space, but Exotic Deer is on his way across. Can he do anything here? Two down on the side of Kingwin, and Patos barely escaped himself as Wolf Mode just overwhelms the side of Kingwin. Yeah, but this is, for Kingwin, this is really great. I mean, why not take the street? Warlock was used, uh, Warlock's Golem was used, and they kill their highest network hero, the, the monkey, so... And what did they lose? They lost the Nyx, right? No one else died, so... Well... I think I, I'm not certain. Uh, well, they lost uh, Lich, they Lich, lost Lich, the Lich, Lich. Well. Yeah, but they don't really care too much. Yeah, it's just the supports for the yeah, richest per fine. person in the game right now. They're fine with that trade, definitely. All right. Uh, have the monkey mid. Monkey? Yeah, but he's pinged out, they know. They have the sentry. Yeah, they have the sentry. But it turns out it's suspicious when a courier is moving around invisible. Who'd have thought it? I thought that was reasonable. Well, they know. <laughs> Jumping on Pathos might be in trouble here. Wrong fighter coming out. Interrupt by the science. Perfectly timed to ensure that he doesn't get away here. Just I'm not so certain. Them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not so certain about his build this game because... Uh, oh, Thompson. Okay. Exotic Deer. Is he in trouble right. here? He needs one more hit for the Jingu, but no, Thompson backed away. No. Yeah, he, he backed away because he already used his stuns, so he didn't really have... Even if he did hit him, he, he couldn't really finish him off, so... That's uh, it. For the Meanwhile, Ember just got soloed in the top lane by Nisha. That should not happen. 
Yeah, that absolutely should not be Ikarin. You're an Ember Spirit. This isn't even a defusal yet on the Phantom yeah. Monster. I was just <laughs> going to say that. Not even a defusal. And Jarrah. Oh, this poor man. Chain Frost to bounce across. And goodbye. Well, he's kind of accepting his life now, but uh, big mistake from Eliza. Uh, Lesage. Eliza. Why do I keep saying Eliza? No tail. TPI. Eliza. Oh, he gets out. Nice. You see, No Tail knows what's up. He ports out. Ember, not as lucky. <laughs> Ember stands and fights, right? Uh, he, he wants Actually, it. Ember it's does want to fight. Man. Because Thompson comes around the back. The movement is near and change control. Nietzsche's dead. There you go. Well, there you go. If you bring like, friends, yeah. you can win fights. That's the lesson. Yeah, don't so, don't don't want we won the PL for some reason. He, he's scary apparently. I don't know. I, I still don't understand how he solo died to him. I guess, guess he was debating or something. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, it's, like, it's probably like guys, you get come and help. They're just on the other side of the map killing people. Like we'll be there soon. Okay, I'll keep him here for another. Ah, I'm dead. Yep. Doesn't I work out too well. He's almost. Uh, sentry it's, down. He's a tree. He's a tree right now. All right. Oh, oh trying to move. Oh, oh the dodge. dodge. Thompson. All right. You magnificent, glorious something. Yeah, I told you. Uh, monkey spammer, man. He feels these things coming. Just jumps in the right moment. You think you've got him, and then suddenly he's. He's monkey yeah, on the other side. Is that yeah, what we're going for? Monkey exactly. Senses. Monkey there senses. We go. Wait, the three monkeys, there... man. See, hear, and do. There was a team, right? Monkey business or something like that. Yeah, I think so. It was remember? Uh, wait, was was OG monkey business? Were they? I can't remember. What was OG's name before? I think they might have been. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, monkey. Hey, they might have been. So this is like a prophecy coming through. They have a monkey player finally. <laughs> They've achieved the ultimate goal, which is actually Roach, not the name. Uh, as they are going in for the pit. He's gonna bring them back to their glory. That's what's up. The hey, monkey. Yeah, you know, who cares about the players you lose? You gain the Thompson. Yeah. Anyhow, Looking mighty glorious. Well, they're so gonna take the road. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that King can do to interrupt this. Angle is nowhere nearby. Oh no, the pincer. Atos may have made a mistake here. Yeah, and they're gonna move in. Sierra Chase come through. Mystic Flare. Oh, nice shield crash to get out just in time. Swashbuckles away as they didn't want to use the silence. And Atos, Hillscape. Yeah, the, the the problem with the silence is it has the lowest range out of all of his spells, so he kind of has to go a bit closer in to use it. It's fair. It does at least secure the Roche, as they knew that Pangalea wouldn't get involved. And now they can look to move in for more towers. And Topson moving in for more kills. He's yeah. waiting for exotic deer. But you know what? Spidey senses were tingling. See? He's got well, senses too. Yeah, Spidey senses were tingling, but he lost some spiders in the process, so I mean, that. And some more. I, I, like he, he's not getting too much out of this. Like, look at his look at his ACS, by the way, and then look at his net worth. It's overinflated. Like, it looks very weird. Well, he's almost got his ratings, at least. Yeah. The problem is, at the same time, Popson has a Maelstrom, an Echo Saber, mm -hmm. and wouldn't be surprised if he goes to the BKB next. Yeah, he definitely can. Well, they have oh, some. Take him back to A. Zed wants to fight. They drop the KO offering right on top of Nietzsche. Take too much damage. They do get the kill. On the back line, they'll pull the kill onto Elder Sash as well. Not done just yet. Wrong spot to come up. Petos, he wants to move away with it though. Does swash buckle back towards his base. But Seb's not done just yet. You might have a Crimson Guard, but how long could you survive under this pressure? Yeah, he has got the Jingu. Tops of four seconds. He has to bound the strike. He's thinking about it. Maybe they just hit the buildings instead. Thompson. Oh no, Kako. Is he dead? The missed chance. Thompson not able to finish his job, and actually he might be finished instead. Well, that's got to be a spit in his face. And yeah, that Radiant's doing some serious work here. And they'll chase for more. Jarrus getting super low, will be slowed up, and will be killed off by the Lich. Now Seb in a little bit of trouble. Should be able to TP out though. And so will no tell. Like, it, it was kind of weird what they did. They overcommitted here, right? OG overcommitted. They, I mean, on the other hand, you don't really expect it. She didn't have her Radiance finished the last time they saw her. Like, Exotic Deer didn't have the Radiance. So, it, it kind of caught them off guard. Like, the mischance there. So, it was kind of weird. But overall, they're still in control of this game. They still have the Aegis on, on the Lycan. And they just have to have their... Fights set up properly again once that Warlock Sulti is off cooldown. Right, now just a minor error, okay? They can fix this. There's still our towers to be taken. And I'd imagine that's where Lycan's gonna head next. Yeah, the wolf is at your door, pretty much. 
how this hero is played right now. He just rushes at your towers. I think there are a couple of players that are completely dominating pubs with Lycan still right it's, now. It's the new Omni Knight, right? Like Omni Knight for, I'd say about two years, was that jump up for quite a few thousand MMR. It was the safe hero to pick because people didn't know how to deal with Repel and Guardian Angel. The problem with Lycan is you think you know how to deal with him, but then he still runs over everything. Pretty much. You, you, you shut him down so hard, but he still comes back somehow, so... It's like, it's, hey, it's 2018 Shadow Fiend. That's what it is. Yeah. No matter how much you think you've killed him off, it's never enough. To be honest, it, it's 200... 200... 2017. <laughs> like, oh, he was also broken then. Ah, yeah, Nintendo's no gone. Time. And Thompson just TP'd in. Might be in a little bit of trouble here. Stunned up with a spot and out of mana. Thompson! Mistakes oh made there! Oh my word! <laughs> You're really I was like, obsessed with that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> alright, it's just Warlock, whatever. And then, no it's not. <laughs> There's Thompson trying to... It's, it's, it's your basic help your friend syndrome, right? You come in, you try to help him, but then you just pay with your own life as well. Yeah, I know that experience. Usually it's like Enrique Iglesias playing in the background. You're like slow-mo <laughs> in your mind running in, and then you just get one hit. Pretty much. Those Dagons, I'm telling you. But it, it, it's getting into a scary area for, for OG right now because Monkey, he did die twice in a row. So his net worth is kind of like they fell underneath both Brood and PL. And the, we, we remember like last game when Kingdom played this, a Pango, once he got online, he did so much. Uh, I'm pretty certain it's going to be the same this game. So He's going for the Maelstrom next, interesting enough. Probably to try and just get rid of the Lycan creeps. That's actually a bit weirder though, uh, I expected some yeah. sort, like some sort of an item that gets him uh, away from, like that helps him versus Yules, right? V versus uh, Silences, something like Yules or, or uh, Greaves. Even a pipe would be better. Even a pipe, yeah, would magic be good. Because th th they don't really lack damage that much, they have the Radiance on Brood right now. Oh, uh, no tell. He went pretty deep here. I could walk past him, they do spot out wars as a result of this, and Anna. Uh, they get the ward. They won't pay a price though. Not yet. So that de-warding successful yeah. and the warding run by no tail less impactful than it's open. He doesn't lose the one in the mid though. Uh, so like too like soon. <laughs> there we go. It's ripped. Yeah, that's the awkward thing. Like actually it's Nyx. It makes it so frustrating to uh, ward. Mm-hmm. At the same time that these boars wars are happening, Lycan is taking the tier 2 on top and Patos was just free farming on bottom pushing that uh, lane, so he actually has his Maelstrom finished and he's going for the pipe that we talked about earlier. I'm kind of glad that, like, he desperately needs it this game. They said Yules isn't too bad either, especially seeing as you're up against a Root and a Silence. Yeah, Yules would be quite decent as well. I really like the Crimson as, for the first item that he went for. It's pretty decent versus wolves and all, uh, wolf and all his minions, right? It's not just that, it's the fact that you can use on buildings as well. Definitely. I feel like that's a strong yeah, element that, that, that is starting to come back into people's minds. No, that, that that's like, I think, versus Lycan, it, it might be even the most important oh, aspect. And he's blown up again. It's, it's the Nyx threat, he has no solution to this, he's probably gonna... I mean, it's this thing, you're going for the, the right-click build, it doesn't really suit to have to go for an Aeon Disc this game, so he's just committed to the Battle Fury and actually going for the Daedalus next. I feel like he's all in on this build, he doesn't really have a choice anymore. I mean, I think Aeon Disc is still such a nice item for him, it doesn't matter if he decides that he's dying way too much, like he's died how many times so far? Four times, it's not horrible, but... I'm trying to imagine how many tears are in Exotic Deer's eyes every time he loses that army. Yeah, uh, he does lose it, but uh, however, you have to remember that the gold that you get is not the same like before. So, it's not really... I mean, yeah, it kind of slows his farm down, but you don't get too much out from it. You get something, but I think the spider rides give you three gold and the big one gives you nine, right? Something like that. Some not, of that, they, I'm not they certain. I'm not it seeing, a lot. Yeah, I'm not seeing brood mothers way too often, to be honest, in my games. Like, it's not really a hero that people play anymore, at least not in pubs. Oh, moving in the bot lane. And no niches around here. Topson looking for him right now, but can he find him? They will at least find the Nick. Trying to slow him down the up. He will cackle, move down the low ground. There's the tree leap through. They'll be able to finish off the kill. And chase after the wrong final monster. Nah, it, it's, it's a nice pick off anyway for them. 
At the same time, Patsus is farming top. The Hood Mother gets some space too. She has his BKB. He has his BKB finished, so. That's true, so Brood should be looking towards fighting now. Uh, probably a Solar Crest next, I'd imagine. Mm, yeah, Solar Crest sounds alright. Do they have one on anyone else? They don't, so. I, I, I assume it it's going to be. doesn't look like it. Like, none of these people tend to build Solar Crest anyway. I think about Nyx is typically the Yules, four stuff, Ag, Splink. Yeah, like definitely Euro. not the Solar Crest builder. Like, yeah, no Lich, is. Lich is like yeah. Glimmer Cape. Glimmer Cape every day of the week. Yeah, you, you can get the medallion, I suppose, on Lich, but Solar Crest is kind of hard to get, yeah, especially on position 5 Lich. You just don't have the gold, right? This hero exactly. never pushes out the lanes. I like what they're doing with the Phantom Lance on the side here, just cutting all the trees. They know that Monkey King has to be close by. There's no way they send Anna on his own after the last two deaths he had. Speaking of Anna. Anna? He caught the Brood, but the has BKB. Yeah, the they, they're Patos trying to figure it out. As well. They don't want to commit too hard for this. They will look to drop the Wukong to Patos. Right. Gets the wrong Thunder out. No tail holding on the rock. He will dodge out the roll. And now nice they go in. Seb, shape shifted up. Can he actually find anyone right now? They'll hit Anna at least once, but now they need to move away. Chain Frost coming out on the other side of the fight. As Chase Ruben Thompson, can he connect with the kill? Puts down the Wukongs, but back at the main fight, you're going to see it drop as they get rid of No Tail already. They'll look to chase on a Pathos. He's running out of health quickly. Thompson will stay alive, but not for long. The oh, impale for on the two is good. Seb held in place. He needs to run away. The shape shift is over. And now, all right, you are in trouble as he gets ran down by the BKB Broodmother. And on the back foot, Anna back in his back. fight. BKB is over. They can actually turn around, look for a kill on Exotic D. He takes way too much damage here. Will fall, and they might look for Kako as well. They've got another remnant in 10 seconds. Oh, nice. Oh. The max range life is. Sir Chains hit him, but can they finish him? Close but no cigar, 60 HP. Yeah. It, it looked so well actually for, for Kingwin. It looked like a perfect fight. Uh, like the double impale on, on Monkey King and Lycan is tearing them apart. And then every, everything was kind of alright for them. But Exotic Tear just overextended after his BKB was gone. So. Yeah, it was a very lopsided fight coming out as we saw OG just try and engage on two different fronts. A little bit just there. Oh, Ackle, again. He always coming out. Anna wants him. He's like, if you're going to be cocky, you're going to pay for it. Dodges out the impale now. He's going for Lich as well. He's in a little bit of trouble here. Could he be ran down? Roll of Fun is going to come out. Anna, slide fist dodge perfectly. Gets the kill as well. Now he needs to get out because Nisha is across. No, the defuse will slow him down. He doesn't make it up the cliff. Anna will die. Was this worth it? I, I'm not so certain it was. Like you get the two supports, yeah, but at the same time you feed your, you feed yourself to their position one, PL. Uh, I, I don't think it was worth it. It's all right, kinda, but if he got out, it would be great. <laughs> yeah, well, it's always great. Yeah, 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 if he, if, it'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> if he killed all of them and the tower and he got out, that would be kind of better, you know. <laughs> and by the way, in the background, there's just an ancient exploding. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's, that would have been better. That, on the bottom lane, we have Monkey King using Gulti on the PL. Oh, jumps in. Wukong comes down. Nietzsche trying to fight. The BKB comes out for Thompson. Now, Nietzsche needs to run. He's happy he forced that out, but he gets slowed down temporarily. Thompson, he doesn't have vision of this. Nietzsche's going to escape. He forces out the big BKB and yeah, doesn't is, pay a price. This is so good for Nisha. At the same time, however, uh, says a rush. rush. Yeah. But yeah. he's in position. He knows. Yeah, I thought doesn't want to miss happen. out this time. And he just rolled funded for nothing. As he's about to find out. Oh uh, boy. If he waited a second, he could have seen the rush as well. That's true. At least they know on the side of OG what's going on there. I mean, they could look to just go back into the Roche pit, but their concern is the rest of the side of King would respond now. Yeah, I I'm not so certain they feel very comfortable just going in and taking Roche at the moment. Perhaps they wait for the BKB on, on uh, Monkey first and his ultimate, and they can then try and go for it. They do have the rock, so... Topson gets pinged in the mid lane, but yeah, can he deal with it? Oh, he leaps away. Kako misses the opportunity. He forced off four to try and do something. He's baiting the mid. Up evil. Now they're going to jump in. Jarek gets super low on the list. Chase Frost bounces them permanently. The BKB from Topson. They drop the rock. Can they move across in time? The question. Exotic Deer chasing on the Topson. And Topson just trying to run away. Seb needs to help out, but instead he goes on the back line. Looking for the kill on the Pathos. Doing a lot of damage. Can he actually finish him off the time? Free hit should do the deal. Double kill for Seb already, but now chasing for more. Oh, nice. It pales down. Nisha ready to oh, fight. Dear. And Seb out of mana. Out of time. He's not altered up anymore. Instead 
dead exotic tier. Goes on with the BKB down to half HP already taking way too much damage. Has to back away. The chase through the remnant. Running but no, despite Carabas, Anna. He can't hang around, gets the Searing oh, Chains out, he'll find the kill on the Nyx. The chase through the Remnants missed time, but it won't matter. They get the kill on the Nyx still. They keep Seb alive, and they make sure that Kingwin can't aggress for any objectives off the back of that. Yeah, as long as they are kiting these BKBs, like, they can win every fight, but... Yeah, they, they've been doing a fine job at it so far. Broodmother's oh, BKB runs out. Huh? They want Exotic Deer. They got Remnant yeah. in two seconds. They can slow him down. They might be able to get across. Movement so forward with the Remnant. Again. Searing Chains. They decide against it. Yeah, I, I didn't like that again. I, I have a oh. feeling Anna would have died, definitely. Yeah, he at least gets the Spiders, though. More gold for him. And Daedalus complete now. So he is more of a Lich, threat though. than before. Yeah, Lich. Searing Chains comes out. And they connect. Is the question, do they want to? There's a slow. There's a Mystic Flare. Cleans it up. I guess Garak says thank you very much. Pretty much was. Like, there's no way anyone's going to dive to try and protect the Lich. I feel like with OG right now, they want the side of Kingwin to fight into them because of the nature of this Ember build. So any scenario in which you do that, it's not favorable. I wonder if they are actually stronger. Uh, around the pit, they are strong, but they do not have the rock right now. They do have the Monkey Ulti. Monkey Ulti is really strong inside the pit. However, the Pathos is there. He has Rolling Thunder and... Ingwin want to interrupt this. They need to time the roll and find it perfectly, though. Here it comes. Definitely want to Gets fight. ready to go. Patos going in right now. The team are already down. Trying to slow him down. Lycan held in place. The Wukong's command does get dropped. Nietzsche fighting in the middle of this as well. The bounces around. Not enough to drop Seb. He does get the BKB off. Trying to fight with Nietzsche. Needs to back away. The Crimson Guard protecting way too much. They'll finish off the Roche. And then they can look to hunt. Exotic Deer forces use the BKB. Gets the kill on the Jarek. And now the Mimic Ford. Anna signs up and stunned up. He can't do anything. They pop the Aegis already. Thompson trying to fight him. But he can't even get the Jinga go. Nietzsche on the back foot. Chase of them all. Big Daddy knows how getting low, but not low enough. Anna cleans up Nietzsche. And no tail will stay alive, but barely on 7 HP. Yeah, there are no BKBs any longer. So if they wanted to chase, nah, they, they, they just can't chase anyone. They're all out. It was a nice fight in the in the rush. Uh, Pengo was a bit unlucky because Lycan he managed to pop his BKB. Usually, when you're uh, you're inside the pit with Pengo here, if you're bouncing against the walls in the pit, you can perma stun someone without them ever being able to to use their BKB. However, that wasn't the case this time. He wa he tried to do it, but somehow I guess he rolled through Lycan uh, too soon. There, there's a small downtime, right? In which, yeah. yeah, there's a small downtime in which you can't stun him again. He's already stunned from the first rolling thunder, so you kind of have to wait. But he kind of did it too soon, and Lycan managed to pop his BKB, survive, and finish Rosh. I think the interesting thing to see here is whether Anna's going to go for the Remnant or the Double Slide Fist. Because I feel like right now, he's not got enough mobility. And now he's going to be used in the mid lane. Can they move forward in this? They missed the opportunity in Pale. As it's off the mark, the BKB forced out of Exotic Deer. This is a big commitment. Seb trying to hit on the tower, but the Crimson Guard will protect. This Crimson Guard has done so much work this game already. It's insane. So good. It's so good versus like an... It's a decent item overall uh, right now. Oh, they're the chasing. They want Thompson. I don't think they're going to find him, though. He's pretty far away. Look at the power of these Tree Leaf talents. Uh, like well, Jerax is not going to be that lucky. Yeah, but, I mean, in fairness, they, that's no a lot of price, right? They, <laughs> yeah, they, the, they, I didn't want to get, say it like that, but yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, I, I, yeah it's all right. I, I'm, I'm not looking to make a career out of this, so I, I, can, blame, <laughs> I can blame people for you. There oh, you go. Oh, look at this as well. Like, uh, Thompson took the primal spring damage instead of the boundless strike. Yeah, that uh, Anna, this is problematic in the mid lane. Sans stop as well, but they drop the rock. There's a rock. Him. Anna might be ready to fight. The BKB comes out for Exotic Deer, but this might be one just to they're retreat. They're all slowed. Yep, now they're in trouble. Thompson <laughs> moving across. He wants an opportunity to go in here. Tree leaps forward, looking for the opportunity. Out comes the wall form. Straight on Anisha, just stunned up and controlled. Look for the doppelganger away, but they're waiting. No, he stays on the high ground, trying to move across. Anna chasing through. Have they yeah, got the Searing Chains? Can yes, they have. Oh, he missed no, it. He sorts him out with a fog, but he'll still die to the big crit. Yeah, Almost a thousand yeah. damage tends to hurt a Phantom Lancer. Yeah, he, I, I just love the way he dodged the Searing Chains, though. Just walking it behind was that tree. It was just... All these small plays, you think they aren't intentional, but they truly are, and it's it's. it's I feel it's like great. his itemization just doesn't feel right. The, the heart is not helping him, because all that means is that there's more things for Anna to continue to cleave and crit off, which buys yep. him more time for the next slight fist. Uh, if there's uh, too uh, many things, he's invulnerable all the time. 
he just doesn't have enough damage, right? He doesn't contribute in these fights enough. Like, yeah, you want to be the guy in the center. That's... Now, can move on the building. Try slows down. Chain Frost comes out with a double impale, but the bounces are not favorable. BKB is out. Dr. needs the G. Looking to fight. The Wukong gets stuck down. They're trying to move across as well, but not quick enough. They almost get the corner cackle, but they won't be able to on the back, but they do lose no tail. Now the Mystic Flare going down. Exotic Deer. Can he actually stay alive? Trying to with his armor running with the lifesteal, but it's not enough. He's outnumbered. And out of time, they'll move back into the base. Crimson Guard not available right now, which means they do full damage to these racks. Seb does shapeshift up just to make sure there's no aggression. Oh, the pill crit. The Nick's almost dead there. here. He's actually going to have to use it. When he comes down, the Remnant 4 drops and finishes them off. Fly back on the Nyx. Need a hold. Is Seb's going to get out of the base on low HP. Jerak starts to have to cover his cores. And the jump back in. Thompson's not done yet. Oh, no crits on the slide fist. Anna needs to back away, has got another remnant, has got enough to move away. But those slows from the heart piercer. Oh, it's going to be close on the back foot. Nisha ambushes them from behind. Jerax and Anna both being picked off. Uh, he remnant himself right into the arms of Nisha's PL, so... Love me, I'm dead. Yeah, that was... I mean, I mean they defended. They defended, uh, you know, yeah. like, PL didn't even have to buy back. Yeah, they did buy back the Katsor's uh, next assassin, so that's kind of bad for them. But overall, they didn't lose the side. They only lost the tier 3. I mean, only. It's an important tower when you lose it. But overall, like, it could have been much worse. And this Lich's armor, again, like, showing just how strong it is. They almost found Thompson for a moment there. Atos was trying, but obviously he didn't well, have Nyx any is, sort of Nyx is still there. Nyx is still there, but... Yeah, but look at this. Look at the tree dance range. How do you deal with this? This split push is ridiculous from Thompson. Yeah. The primal spring is actually legit ridiculous in these scenarios because you just immediately escape after getting the creeps. Yeah, you just jump on the creeps and you. Oh, uh, Sam. And that's it. Chain Frost just got thrown out on his creeps. Does he want to go in off the back of this? He's going to side against it and he'll lose the creep army. He's torn now. He's like, what do I do? I get bounties and I run. <laughs> if there were no bounties. Maybe. Value, though. Yeah, he would have went for that Lich, I assume, but he was like, all right, at least I can take these bounties, whatever. I'll let you go this time. So, Arcane oh, lane, though. Oh, Matos is going there. It's going to run out. They use him up. They drop the rock. Now they need to get him out. But can they? BKB up and set. Force to stand and fight, but he can't. He's just trying to move away. In the meantime, looks like Pantos has ran out of time in the role of fighter, but that won't stop them from getting the kill on the set. In return, they do get one of the Liches. Thompson just comes, hit and run. He's gone. He leaves his core and his support behind, but at least he got that Lich kill. What? Ashen's gonna worked. hang around. He's thinking of going in here. Oh, he jumps out of the trees just in time. Thompson being chased on too. They should find him here. That's a BKB. Wukong's BKB, ready to fight. Found the strike, control him up. Can he do it off the slide? It's through the jumping by Ember. The team with chase control is good. Thompson's gonna show him the pale control. It's better. They will lose Phantom last time. It looks like Anna's gonna die as well. The only one left alive is Jerax, as he's way too late to try and get across and help with that fight. I mean, and it's four, four of them fighting him, and he <laughs> still kills two. It's ridiculous. It's insane. I mean, to be honest, they needed to get Ember in the middle of that before the Searing Chains. I felt like he could have done it with a slight fist, but... Yeah, definitely. I, I, I'm i just surprised by the way Seb played that. I, I suppose he thought he was baiting them. They had the rock, right? But he's completely useless. He didn't have his... He What he did is he just moved mid as his shape shift was running out, right? So... Mm -hmm. After that, they fight with the wolf without shapeshift, and I mean it's all right, but not even Thompson was close enough for that fight to go very well for them. They used the uh, Vorlock Golem, and Thompson was just coming in two, three seconds after, and Lycan just died instantly to PL and everyone else, as he had no had no ultimate to run away with. So it's it's kind of weird that they chose to fight there that way, but I I can see that the bait strategy. Might have worked in if they kind of did it all faster a little bit. Quite possibly. Like you said, Thompson's just way too far away. When he snuck in, he did get that kind of lich, but by then, he just lost Seb. There was no way he could stand and fight. Yeah, Seb went on, on, on lich or something. No, no, he went on light connection. Oh, we have a blood torn? Yeah, we have a blood torn. I heard that right. We have a blood torn on. on. You know what? Like him, walk mode it up. Upheaval on the case, or two hits will do it. Seb just hit him way too hard now. Top and we'll go back to him building. He wants to get rid of these shrines in prep for the next Roche, which may be up in five seconds Dyer's time. Top shrine has fallen. Not a deal though, he wants to check. The... Oh, Jerax. You're kind of too close. Yeah, no, oh, he's right. fine. He's fine. Who needs defensive items like yours to get rid of that blood fawn? That's silly. 
I mean, he has Force and Agony in Slay. This guy hits hard. Like, we haven't talked about the Skyrats a lot, but this dude, it, unless he gets, like, mana burned by uh, Nyx Assassin, he can do so much in these teamfights right now. Agonims. I feel like I'm okay with the fact he skipped the Atos. When you consider yeah. here, like, think about Atos and the travel time. If Brood was your big concern, good luck, because on webs, you just run away in time that you won't be able to actually use the Mystic Flare follow up. Uh, uh, yeah, the force is all right. I, I, the force is all right versus Patos's uh, Pangolier as well. You know, uh, it's all right versus most of them. So I, I can see where he's coming from with force. But overall, I really like Atos on this hero. Even versus the PL and the Pangolier, like the root versus Pango. I feel like their problem is not the Pango right now, though. It's Definitely everything not. around him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, this brood. I don't. I don't think she showed her. Uh... Did he show his? I don't know if already? they saw the blood fawn. I yeah. think they might have. They tried to pursue onto the warlock, so they might have got a glimpse of it there. They're going in. They're devouring all this. Basically, what they're doing is they're preparing rush fights. So, they, they even yeah. swept up. They're gonna ward around here somewhere. Well, they got I another can... minute to wait, so this is perfect time to do so. Topson, good positioning actually, because if, like, I feel like Topson should be positioned around here so that when they try and just come to the Roche pit, you get that backstab with the Wukong. Yeah, this high ground is very. Oh, they oh speaking back. of the Monkey King, they jump in. Pango down to half HP already. You also buy time, but they drop the rocket bit. Oh, the the Mystic Flare as well. They almost get paid off with the lock. Quick enough. Though. In the meantime, they're going to chase for more. The buyback on Ember immediately after dying is getting shredded through. Exotic did. He needs to life steal quick, but he won't get a chance. Pango's trying to move away, but get too low. They'll jump through. Anna cleans up more. As they find Kaiser. Now they want Nisha as well, but can they? That's the question. Buyback on the Pango. No ult available, though. Topson will back away. That secures the Roche for them. Yeah, that's just to go straight into Roche, guys. That's the call. They're gonna... Maybe they... Yeah. I mean, it's Anna up. just disappeared so quickly in the middle of that. Like, you saw the rock get dropped, but it was too late. The rock was great. It caught, like, almost all of them. It was perfect rock. It didn't matter, though. Ember died instantly to, to the Blood Tour, right? And the Brood. And yeah, the way too much damage. However... It's like a truck. Yeah, however, you kill the you kill the Ember Spirit and he just buybacks Remnants back in. And then what? Like, you're still fighting on a disadvantage there, so... This yeah, is you pretty can... scary. Uh, mm. Topson now has that Refresher Shot. Oh god. How do you feel about double Wukong? Th does that even work? Like, I'm not sure if it does. I haven't seen. But like, to be honest, I don't think you need two down to win that fight anyway. Like one and then you can follow up looking for more. Yeah, I think it's I... kind of the fact that you take one to get that uh, like entrance kill. And then the <laughs> second one is to secure ground on the high ground. Yeah, I, I, I still think this, like, this refresher usually when you see it uh, uh, on a core like this one. It's mostly to have two BKBs, by the way. Like, to have two BKBs on, in the team fight. So, you can refresh, use another Wukong. Yeah, that's actually great. You can even use it on two Boundless Strikes. But usually it's just so you can continue fighting with the BKB. And he's, he's so thick. By the way, look at him. He has Isle of Skadi and Mjolnir and BKB. It's, it's not easy to kill him. Yeah, you can he blow up the Ember Spirit. Or you can blow up Topson. But you can't blow up both of them. And I think you're in that stage, is... right? Yeah. Like where it's not just the case of uh, like, like usually the issue with Monkey King is he can't be the frontliner, but when you get to this stage in the game, he's so tanky he can be. He, like yeah. he doesn't need someone to start the fight for him. He can initiate. We haven't really talked about the combo of Warlock and Monkey as well. The true. upheaval and Wukong's command, Monkey's ulti. And not then just that. Warlock fatal just keeping them in. The fatal bonds too, definitely. <laughs> I mean, Warlock. that's the scariest part, Speaking right? About Warlock. Oh, drops the bomb from his death, though. Not the way you're looking to fight this out. They jump in, they find Manisha getting low. Needs to move away. BKB comes up top to drop the Wukong. Wu we'll catch on the LS back. And now let's chase through Manisha as well. He just disappears. No! He can't get out with the doppelganger. And now the Mystic Flare will force the rest of his team away. But Thompson, he's getting out of control. The second Wukong is going down. Paytos controls with the Yule. Looking to move away. Exotic Deer needs to get out of it quick. We'll be able to do so. The buyback on Nisha, but now he's forced to defend. In an unfavorable scenario, they lose the roll of Thunder. But Seb, with the shape shift, should be able to back away from this in time. He should chase him through. He needs to be careful. They need to control Anna up first. If he doesn't die, they're in trouble. Can they time the Impale right? No, they just pop the Lincolns. Anna will move away. Those All of a sudden, they stuff. jump in. He's run out of mana quickly. Doesn't have a slight fist to work with. Nisha? They should bash him up, but they won't be able to burn through him. Nisha getting way too low here. Doppelganger trying to move away. Seb just walks over one punch to the face, and he's gone. That's I a dieback. And 
And yeah, now they're in a lot of trouble because Pathos can't defend and Exotic Deer trying to stay alive. That life steal just under the walls will pop Anna once, but can you pop him twice? Thompson does get silenced up, has to eat the cheese, he will eat it in time, he needs the assistance of Anna right now. The zero chain comes out, the stun control to find the kill to Thompson. Anna down to half HP already, he dies deeper, looking for more, but he can't get Poor anything. Defending this. He just disappears, they hold their ground. Meanwhile, the top lane Zip, he tries to find more ground he can take himself, but warp mode over, he needs to move away. No BKB for 25 seconds, they'll get him. And they hold, Kingwin, it's expensive. But they barely lose any of their base for that. I mean, it's expensive, but they have the switch and they're holding. And remember what happens when this dude gets his level 25. It's gonna and be so hard to push against but, him. And... But look at the gold exchange as well. Yeah. Insane amount of money switching hands towards Kingwin here. The yeah. net worth leads that OG had built are just falling apart. Definitely. Well, PL did die back, so there's that. Brut. Meanwhile, yeah. Miz. They're actually in a little bit of trouble. Exotic there moving forward. Can't get it. They drop the rock just to defend him, but it doesn't matter. They get caught up by Kaiso as he comes around the back. Impale follow up. They'll find no tail as well. He just disappears after four hits. It ends jump. up with OG having no one left alive. And suddenly, it's Penguin's turn to push. Yeah, they. I, I don't know what they were thinking there. Uh, I, like, he had the BKB, right? Like, Root Mother had the BKB off cooldown, so. How did they actually expect to kill her? I'm not certain, uh, maybe rock into ultimate from Skyrath or something like that, or maybe they were just teasing, I, I'm not certain. I, I don't see it. Yeah. I feel like they were just hoping with wishes and good intentions, but... I mean, yeah, like, they... even if you hit that Mystic Flare, I feel Exotic Deer has enough health to actually get the BKB off in time. Ma 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 yeah, maybe the plan was to actually bait out the BKB, maybe that was it, so that they can fight afterwards easier on the high ground defense. But <laughs> nah, this was, yeah, th this was definitely not the plan. Like both of them just speeding away and using the rock for nothing. That was not the plan. Well, I'll move up. They'll look to take the tier two top as well. They're just breaking any defenses OG have, because once you lose all those tier twos, one foul fight is all it takes to lose your entire base. Yeah, and remember. Exotic Deer, he's finished another item right now, and that's a Hex, so we're uh, gonna have a Broodmother with the Hex and the Bloodthorn as well. This, like, anyone is vulnerable there. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, anyone you get more yeah. proud of yourself for that word every time now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, dude, it's, it's not even that hard, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyhow. It's that moment where you're anyway. like, vulnerable, self yeah. Alright, uh, so... Ember can die easily, even though he has uh, Lincolns. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it's much. even about the Ember. It's about the Monkey King. Because if he gets Hex... Like, Monkey King is a momentum-type hero. If he doesn't enter the fight and start getting those Jingus, mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. can't sustain. I agree with you, yes. If they lock him down long enough. But, on the other hand, you have this Warlock. He, he's always going to be around. It's, it's not till after all. He's going to position himself properly to save his teammates with the Rock. If he has that rock in the first place, which he does not right now. I think they're gonna there smoke up on side of OG. <laughs> Cherax almost gets it popped oh, by the Nyx there. That was so close. Yep. You just got, you feel the tension as they don't even know how close they came to engage in there. That would actually have been favorable for Kingwin as well, because they would have been able to hit the back line of OG immediately. Yeah, back line. Oh, PL hit. It's actually the real one. here, Sly Fist coming out. Four Simpsons off gang already, he will run away. Set run now, mana. There's a shape shift he wants to go. The, the hex coming out. Anna though in a little bit of trouble. Has to be four stops away. Exotic Deer can't get close enough. Zep trying to come in. They drop the rock on oh, it too. Great the shot. down as well. The control is good. And they're going to get rid of Exotic Deer. He can't stand his ground. They need to get Pathos out quick. Swashbuckle away, but barely no out. Back. And that's huge. Now it's all on Phantom Lancer. They've got no roll of Thunder available for 50 seconds. Nisha has to pull out a miracle right now. What can they do? Well... Is Lich level 25? No, no, no level 25 for you, mister. No killing your Rex. <laughs> no way near 21. He's got a few levels to go. Yeah, they don't really want to go, though, it seems. They, they do. They're getting multiple lanes. Yeah, but Lycan, he's Wait, running Lycan? away. Yeah, what? He, he's running, running away. He just wants to push bottom. He has no I BKB. need mana, guys. I, I, I don't know. Like, the rest of them, they are staying around, but... I feel like Lycan. this is a golden opportunity missed. I feel like they, they, they should know. But, I mean, this... Kingwin would have probably bought back by the time they approached this high ground. I guess they're paranoid about it, though. Yeah, that's what uh, it is. Thompson, definitely. he has got BKB. Four stuff away. The chain frost will bounce, but now the balance strike won't even come out. 
and well, the splintered yeah. format, it actually pays a price as it's a heavy one, as Jarax dies as well. At this point you have to actually ask the question why did Lycan go back and why did Monkey King stick around because you That's either all fall back or I, 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 I'm not certain. I guess Lycan just wanted to outpush bottom, Seb just wanted to outpush so they kind of have them choke in. wasted yeah. opportunity though, like they could have at least got one lane. I, I guess they weren't aware of uh, Broodmother not having buyback. Well, well, that's the thing. It's not like, on cooldown. It's just that he didn't have the money. So that was my thought. But, I'm like, like you, you can tend that high ground without being threatened. You know Raw and Fun is on cooldown. You know they've got no chain for us to work with. The, yes, the, Nyx's Impales have been on point, uh, but... Another thing is, Brood used Hex on Ember, and they should know that she just bought that. So, if she has the Hex, it's... Like, usually that's how you know if someone has buyback or not. You just check if they have a new item or not, right? And if yeah. that Brood used Hex on you, and she died afterwards, and you never saw that Hex before, it's most likely that she does not have that buyback. So, you can kind of... Guess it that way. Oh, Ron Fun are coming in. They want to jump onto the Ember, but it's wasted. Moving for Petos. Actually, looking on set. Can he control him out? The BKB comes out. Shape Shift activated. Trying to move away. But the Abyss are going to heal him. So Will he be able to get him in time? He should be able to move away. They're trying to chase through, but they actually lose Nyx because of the cleave from oh, Anna. Crit. Crit's too strong. And actually, do they want to re engage with the question? Because that was more or less everything Kingwin had to work with. They don't really have an initiation tool now, so. Yeah, no, initiation they can tool and rushes up, so they have to be worried. Like, Nyx might even have to buy back here. If they go straight for rush, I believe he might even do it. I, they, they need to do it right now if they want to. Patos is going to have his Roll and Thunder in 30 seconds. It's now what? or never. What do you think about this pack of wolves running around? It's, it's very interesting. We don't typically see this taken over the Howl hero health. I feel like health isn't their issue right now, though, on the side of OG. I I, I believe that the strength in these wolves is it's not in the numbers, it's not like they're strong and they're gonna hit your buildings or anything like that. It's they're invisible and you can actually use them as walking uh, wards. Ah uh, yeah, scout. Uh, That's so true. vision scouting. It, 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 it's why they... Like Lycan was a really top pick once uh, because of that as well. His wolves would just follow you everywhere and give so much info that this was hard to do anything. And we have... Oh, and they go. They're like going in, Kukutsu Shot's gonna fly to slow people down and give you vision of what's happening. The buyback on Nyx is already out. He's moving across really fast with this move across terrain. But the Wukongs goes down, they want this Rose badly, and actually Seb chasing out. Can he find anyone here is the question, Nisha? Should be fine, they go back to the pit, the jump is good! He's interrupted, now they drop the rocket return! The Mystic Flare flying through, they will get the kill to Nyx, and now the Rose does get popped, and they'll pick it up. Tops has got the Aegis. They need to move in the Lich Frost, comes out the upheaval slope, just continues, Exotic Deer, barely able to move around here, as the life still stay alive, gets rid of the Golem, and they can find this, they refresh the shard, now they can control up Thompson, if they can get him hit, it's huge! Trying to keep him alive, the Shadow where the Hex up, they push him out of the pit, and they miss the Swashbuckle, but they clean him up! And he is dead for 100 seconds, on the other side, PL does get picked off, and it's not done yet! They will go back in if need be, but no tell, it's a little bit too far away. Double kill comes out for Exotic Deer, but you just got a kill onto the Topson and his support, but you lost your final answer. You have no front line now. Yeah, you lost the PL, uh, but you did shoot through their ages. And who took uh, the cheese, by the way? I did not see that. Oh, we might have to wait to figure out for a moment. Look like they actually might get Anna. Uh, rather, Anna might get the Ados, but unable yeah. to. I'm just checking for the cheese at the same time, actually, because I didn't yeah. see it go off. I, I saw Pato stealing Refresher, and that's why they actually killed Thompson. He yeah, in but with the, the cheese got used somewhere. That must have been Anna. That's the only one I can think of right now. So they went in with Rolling Thunder. I, I was actually surprised that they didn't use their uh, BKBs a bit sooner. Like Yeah, I was a little bit delayed. Pango jumped in, and he caught them with the Rolling Thunder before they actually managed to use their BKB. So... They could have had a cleaner fight if they saw him. I guess they didn't have... Like, we were talking about the vision that the wolves gave them, but I guess they didn't really uh, check where Patos was properly. So. Yeah, it was a nice move in. I think the most crucial one was actually the Nyx with the unobstructed pathing. Yeah, Like, yeah, he got he across came from so behind. damn quick. Yeah. He just came from behind. He was even waiting for the monkeys. Uh, but the ultimate. 100 agility! <laughs> Yeah, definitely, guys. Don't, don't, don't follow uh, Katsur. Don't follow what he's doing. Just yeah, go for the agility. Go, go, go on, you need he's only armor. playing for yeah. TI here. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like, what does he know? Come on. Why would you need to walk across?
terrain and stuff. Like, you don't need that. You can Yeah, fight like a man. Fight, fight honorably. Look your opponent in the eye. Let's stab them in the back from the side of a mountain. Which doesn't even make sense, by the way. <laughs> it doesn't, and you know I'm right. You're right, man. You're right. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't laughing at you. I was just, you know... You were laughing at me. You were laughing with me. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, so what do we do now? What's happening? Please tell me. Like, how do you see this game? You're the analyst now. Go for it. Okay, so... We're in a scenario now where basically if Panel Lancer dies for Kingwin, they can't push. Mm -hmm. But at the same time for OG, they are cooldown reliant around the shapeshift and the Wukongs. Like, Wukongs is huge no, right now. Uh, shapeshift cooldown, you have to recheck that one more time. Actually, because it's, it's not the biggest uh, one. It, yeah, in fairness, 70 seconds is better now. That, that's the sec fair point. seconds, and but it lasts 34, I think, 34 I seconds. So I still good. think the biggest issue right now is that Topson's Wukongs is what's... They, like, it's not that they're struggling to stay in this definitively, but that's how they're winning these fights, right? If they get good Wukongs, because right yeah. now the Brood can't really... Like, the catch with Brood is she needs a lifesteal target, and mm -hmm. the catch with Wukongs is I'm hitting you and I'm not even next to you. Did you, did, like, did you check uh, when when Monkey King had Refresher Shard the first time? The way they killed PL is actually by uh, getting enough uh, Jingle Mastery stacks and then hitting the PL twice with Boundless Strike, refreshing the Boundless Strike alone. So yeah. he, so uh, that's, uh, that's actually interesting because he's going for that Refresher right now. That's his last item choice. But here's the reason the Shapeshift isn't that big of a deal now, is Lich almost has 25. So if you don't oh definitively God. take towers, I mean, is, is it me or does King win like a late game? Because it's 18, starting to feel like it. 80 minute game coming through once more, man. It's happening. Hey, well. The horror story never ceases in this world of Doha. But, I mean, could you imagine if it comes down to and King, every every game King wins have been in has been like over 60 minutes in the qualifiers. Without yeah, I mean, failure. Their last game that we casted was 80 minutes, so... Uh, these this type of lineups could drag it out. Like, honestly, you think about the layers to it. It's usually not enough to eliminate one hero. You need to get rid of two cores, and they can't have buyback. Mm. I'm not so, so certain if they have the late game here, though. Like, yeah, their late game is great, but... On the other hand, you have a Divine Rapier Ember Spirit. Yeah, we haven't talked about that. I feel like that, that like it, it feels like an afterthought in our minds because it done a decent amount of damage, but it's I still feel like Topson is the deciding factor in these fights because Anna has to be so defensive due to the nature of the heroes on Kinkwin. Definitely. He has the Lincoln's and the Willing Dagger, so it's not super easy to catch and to kill him off. But still. The Trapier will see it in action. No we won't. <laughs> we Don't will. worry, double slide fist. <laughs> Jump in by Topson. Just trying to clear the way. They'll get their hands on the rain track so damn quickly. Hey, you said those wolves didn't matter. They look pretty strong there. Yeah. I take my words back once more. <laughs> there you go. Is Every that game you want? involving Kingwin, man. Is Every that game. what you want? Yeah, I'm just always trying to catch you out. It's like a competition. No, the wolves are great at pushing as well. No doubt about it. What do you think about uh, their strength once this Lich gets his level 25? Oh, hold on a second. You have to hold on that because Kaito gets caught out by the goal. Rapier. But the jump down, they kill off Anna instantly. Nishi with Rapier. Now he goes in. 70 to run away from the missile control. is good. They'll be able to finish him off. He can't get out. Double kill for Exotic. And Thompson is just chilling in the bot lane right now, wondering what the hell just happened. How are they getting caught there? Like, it's... it's they shouldn't... It's like not Anna's the second. It's the third time they are getting caught at the same spot. Like, it's, it's like Anna is trying to aggressively position because they want to move on that high ground so badly. And Kingwin knows this. You just get these long range initiations time and time again with patches. You can't be that close to the base. You can't be in vision of the side of Kingwin. I mean, it, this isn't enough. Ember does not have a buyback. Just buying yeah. back on Lycan, I, I don't think that's going to be enough. This monkey has to go back as well. He needs to get his butt back in the base. He needs to do it quick. There we go. Just tree dance as far away to make sure there's no chance to interrupt him. And now onto the high ground, Nisha wants to heal on the tower. This won't take him too long. Divine Rapier, Phantom Lancer, and the Doppelganger talent as well. Stops oh moving God. in, tries to hit him illusions. up. He's put the Wukong down to defense. Hazel's going to be able to move away. There's so many illusions here, but Nisha, does he want to go back in is the question. He wants to. He's trying to get on the high ground, or at least get his illusions in. Like, please, please fight me. I've got more illusions where that came from. Oh, this talent, though. Nisha, moving in. Oh no! 
They're gonna have to catch on the set. Can it kill him off? Roll up under the control. It might be out of mana. BKB activated, but he hasn't got enough of the shape shift. He's stuck in place. They'll find him. Thompson gets the refresher off. He's gonna try and fight out with the move comes. The Mystic Blade comes out. Pain will take a lot of damage. Anisha down to half HP, but they can't finish him off yet. He should be able to move. Hexed up in the spot. They can't kill him. They lose Thompson. He needs to get back in instantly. Buyback comes out, but can he move forward quick enough? Nisha being pinged out, but that heart is just gonna heal him up so fast. They hold, they'll back away knowing that they've exhausted almost all of OG's resources. Yeah, the buybacks happened, like and died back, so they're completely fine with this. Go back, wait for Rosh, get that DD. As long as they don't do anything super risky right now, Kingwin can take this game, definitely. Uh, it's looking pretty grim. And actually, they're waiting for Rosh, which is up in one minute. Did you even see the way doppelganger? He he doppelganged out of Monkey's Wukong command. He's constantly, he just, yeah. yeah he it's just, just absurd. Did like Monkey did the he he positioned himself fairly well and he used his ultimate defensively very well. They couldn't hit the tower, but at, at the same time you can't get any kills there. Like the the, the PL just gets out, gets out, gets out, gets out, and go somewhere else to fight your team and i'm not even certain why og fought on the bottom lane because they have a tier two there they didn't necessarily need to fight them at the tier two on bottom yeah it was a little but, bit worrisome especially the way seb got caught out so easily there a little bit too I, aggressive from him yeah i i suppose mid lane oh jump in hex comes out case or they get hex in return but now they have to drop the rock jackson try to stay alive but the ghost scepter just ensures his death as they spit onto him and now anna trying to get involved Sly is twice we'll move away falls the bkb out of exotic They'll clear up the golem, but they'll be happy with that because Roche, Roche is now up. Perfectly timed, in fact. Perfect time for them to just stroll in. Monkey is on the tree. Check He's got the Wukongs. Well, that's going on. And I'm just trying to slow this down, make sure this can't occur. Lycan is about to be back up. They need him in the pit right now. I feel like they just stick Seb in the pit and then guard him. Because you can't afford to get two heroes stuck inside there with some, the Pangalier coming up. All right. The Rosh okay. fight. Pops is gonna go in. instead. It's like, fine, this is mine. Probably stick down the Wukongs before they finish it, I'd imagine. But there's a movement across. They want to make sure this doesn't occur. Wukong's gonna be committed. Maybe no. Seb just shape shifts up. He's gonna zone them out. Wukong They're will finally be thrown down. They're he needs to finish this off right now. Brawl fighter coming in. Paytons wants to fight. Taking a decent amount of damage from the Wukongs. Will it be enough though? He's getting shredded through here. Can he escape barely with the swashbuckle? Their attempt at interrupting Rose seems to be over, but no case of jumping in Mix. with the right Carapus, can he do it? No! He can't, he gets stunned up! They pick up the Aegis and now the Mystic Flag coming Mystic. out the first to kill on the Phantom Lancer! Divine Rapier on the floor! And Sonic's here panicking, he doesn't know if he should fight or run! Your answer? Run! As fast as you can, because Monkey King has got his hands on a Divine Rapier! Oh god, this was so terrible for them actually. Like the <laughs> you remember last rush fight? They went into into the rush fight perfectly uh, with the uh, rolling thunder and they didn't pop the BKBs on time on the side of OG, so the rolling thunder did so much work. This time, however, Monkey King used his BKB and what's rolling thunder gonna do? He just almost died to the solo Monkey King inside the pit, so yeah, they 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 really have to just pop their BKBs on time and they can win these team fights. The B the Rapier is now back to the side of OG as well. There's a double Daedalus on the Ember with an Aegis. So he can, even if he wants to, even if he wants to, he can position himself kind of more aggressively now. So there's I, that. I feel like the saving grace is that it didn't go onto Ana again. Because yes, Topson is scary with that Divine Rapier. Especially since he's got double Boundless Strike. But obviously Ana... When you're in these big clustered fights, a rapier with double crit, that was more yeah. or less the deciding factor. Ah, uh, definitely. Like on Anna, the, I mean, I don't even know. To be honest, Monkey King with rapier is just a scary. You have the boundless strikes, so it's physical damage. It can do a ton. Yeah, on Ember, it's definitely a, even a core item, right? Late game, it's super strong. But uh, Monkey King is... Remember what we said about not these, the previous yes. game? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. Case it doesn't jump on no tail, but they've got a DD up here and they're just gonna buy a little bit of time. They're like pushing the waves, let's get ready to move. And imagine they put this on Topson. Oh wait, no, sorry, they picked up Nana. Yeah, they took it that's on, fair. on the Ember Spirit. It's still good enough. Yeah, that's fair. Like Topson with it could probably just one hit someone with the balance strike without even having Jingu. There we go. I respect He's this. so deep inside. Oh, jump straight in. BKB out. Topson hits balance strike on two. The Wukong's going down. 
Okay, so staying alive, but not for long. If we get up just in time, Lich won't be so lucky. They're securing the push onto the racks. They move forward. The Mystic Flare coming out of the sheep. They drop their rock as well. BL is no down. Buyback. And now the Yule's coming out for Pangolin. They can't buy back into this. Trying to move away the Mystic Flare again. The Wukong's down for a second time. The Silence up. Oh, the kill with Thompson. Buy back on Pangolin. Can he do enough? No, he can't. GG. They submit in the end. And OG just run over them with way too much physical damage. The King went so close so far. In the end, it just came down to whoever had that rapier. They were so close, actually, and that rush fight, it, if it went just a 